A down day on Friday in the Greens. Tommy Grisapi is back with the analysis. And Tommy, it was sad to see the green set back. We had strong exports. We kind of faded that news. And what did we see? Was the market removing weather premium? Was it technical selling? What was going on? We started with exports coming out on a Friday, not a Thursday. And then the market just started to sell off. Now we're seeing news out of Russia. Uh, Russia must have changed their mind on what wheat they're going to export. So wheat started off to be the weak one. And then something happened in beans, Michelle. I don't know if it's a weather forecast or if it's that last push of farmer selling. We're going to come into and realize that we are almost done with bean harvest for many. We're finishing up bean harvest in the next five to 10 days, well through three quarters of the way of bean harvest. But we did have hedging pressure. The market that did the best was corn only being down a little and when you look at the totals for the week, both corn, all three, corn, wheat, and beans, lower right. in the week. So because we did have lower weekly closes and all the grains, did the funds pile on and sell as we start this new week? Or does that unsurface some more commercial demand or end user buying? Well, the funds have a little bit of a conundrum. The funds have the problem that they watch gold, the other yellow commodity, hit a new high of 2730 You're seeing some commodities do well and others not do well. The funds are so confused. They see China do massive, massive stimulus packages. The funds see the stock market at all-time highs. But in the end, the fundamentals are winning in grains, and I think the funds got it wrong. They had a massive short position. They puked it quickly. They started puking corn, puking our term for buying back of a position, but they definitely puked beans when we had that short covering rally. I think they're going to wish they had those on. But margin calls had to be met. When beans rally a dollar in a few weeks, it it creates pain for people. Now looking, they if if someone paid ten seventy for beans a few weeks ago, they have to be sick to their stomach when they see we're now back at nine seventy. No doubt. All right. Thanks so much, Tommy Grisafi with Advanced Trading. We will have more day coming up. Interested in spending a day with a trader? Call Tommy Grisafi at 800-664-4383. Watch Markets Now with Michelle Rook on the Farm Journal YouTube channel, keeping you updated throughout the day on the markets at the open midday and close. Find out what moved the markets today and what to expect the market to do next.